from Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Mikey Show. For everyone out there that disagrees, change the channel. You're not worth it. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Mikey. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Mikey Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Right on our telephone number. You got to need it. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. 1 800 5 800 866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. Well, at one time they called it Secretary's Day. Then they called it National Administrative Professionals Day. Because you're not supposed to call them secretaries, because they are ever so much more than secretaries. They are administrative professionals. Yes. And now, because one day was not nearly enough, it's Administrative Professionals Week. Yes, this is the week when women in your office are treated as something more than you. Because uh, eventually it's going to get down to every female in the office gets a flower. Every female in the office gets invited to lunch. Every female in the office gets some kind of little gifty. Yes. Now, what is the reason for this? You know, uh, gender discrimination is illegal and gender discrimination in the workplace is actionable. So why in the world does corporate America put itself in a position uh, for what I would consider to be a real risk of gender discrimination suits? I have no idea. Now, we work in an office here, uh, the four of us, Gary, Dean, Art, and I, we all work on our own. We have uh, no secretaries, no receptionists, no... uh, What do they call them? Administrative professionals. We have to do all that stuff ourselves. All by ourselves. That's right. So I do not work in an office like this, but I do know that uh, I'm willing to bet, and I know I'll get reports from the front, I'm willing to bet some of you boys had to sit in the office while the ladies got taken out to lunch this week, taken out to dinner, taken out to drinks, or were given various uh, things that the men in the office were not given. And it is amazing how, uh, with all the years of women demanding equality, very few women complain about getting the special attention that women get on a week like this. I do not see what they've done to deserve this kind of attention. I do not know why women are the ones who get this kind of attention and not men. It doesn't make any sense to me. Have you been in an office this week with uh, Secretary's Day or Administrative Professionals Day or Administrative Professionals Week? Has somebody in your office done something to quote-unquote honor the chicks in the office who we all know are just there waiting to meet Mr. Wright? Being a secretary is, uh, you know, just the office equivalent of... um, Working there, uh, putting oil in people's cars or uh, going boop, boop, boop at the uh, supermarket register all day long. It's just another grunt job. So uh, one wonders why in an era where uh, women are supposed to be our equals, why so many of them get this special treatment on Secretary's Day or whatever it is you're supposed to call it. So I'm wondering if you are one of the people who's had some experience with Secretary's Day. Have you... uh, Have you seen something going on in your office this week? Have you seen flowers being doled out? uh, Gift baskets being doled out? Have you seen women being taken to uh, lunch or dinner? Were the men in your office treated equally if they were so-called administrative professionals? I want to get a complete report from you. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 
I'm 42, and I'd love to bang an 18-year-old. That'd be great. It's the Tom Likas Show. Southern California's FM Talk Station. 97.1 Free FM. Secretary's Day, they call it Administrative Professionals Day, they call it Administrative Professionals Week. Did you have one in your office? Candace on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Candace. This has got to be one of the lamest days. I've been an administrative assistant slash secretary for 15 years, and I've made it a rule of mine that I call in sick on this day. <laughs> what do they do in your office on this day? You know, people think that they can take me out to lunch or buy me flowers or, I mean, you know, put little muffins on my desk. And, and it's great if people have good intentions. But in every office, when you're an administrative assistant, you have to deal with the good and the bad of everybody in the office. So for me, it's funny to see people who don't like me or stab me in the back kiss my butt for one day out of the, you know, out of the entire year. Now, what I think is funny about it is, that's my job. So why aren't we celebrating other job titles? Do you know what I'm saying? Well, we don't because this is all about, again, treating women like little princesses. That's what it's all about. But that's what my husband's for, not some <laughs> person at work or some weird. I mean, luckily, I have a great boss, but there was a time when I didn't. And so it was like I dreaded going to that lunch every year for some weird pervy guy to hit on me. I, I, no. I understand. And, and you're, so what guys are hitting on you? Tell me about that. Well, I mean, it, it's not now because I'm, I'm, I'm much older. But when I was in my 20s, you know, and you were working for some guy, it was their excuse, you know, to hit on you professionally. And so I just made it a rule about six, seven years ago. I, I just call in sick on this day because I, I don't think it's fair to the other people in the office. I mean, they're celebrating my job that I do every day. What about the poor person that sits next to me, that their job is just as important as mine is? They should be celebrated, too. I mean, do you not agree? Well, they we'll put it this way. Uh, I really don't want anything for my employer but money. Exactly. Just <laughs> give me money. And, you know, when they have these days like this, girls, all they're trying to do is cover up for the fact that they're not giving you money. It's no wonder women make less money than men, because women fall for this stuff. Oh, yeah. I've even asked employers, well, you know what? It's going to cost you 75 bucks to take me out to lunch and the flowers and the gift certificate. Why don't you just, like, give me a gift card to, you know, a, a certain retailer, or why don't you add that on? How about a bonus? Exactly. Well, that's what yeah. I want. Just give me money. Yeah. And, and you know, what's really sad is I've even worked some places where there's men that are administrative assistants, and the holiday is completely, totally different for them. I don't get it. I, I, I don't I don't get it either. That's why I call in sick. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Candace. Thank you. Appreciate Bye -bye. the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, how you doing? Doing okay, Mike. Hey, I was just, I had a comment about this whole Secretary's Day thing. My secretary, we don't celebrate this in my office. No? Not, we don't celebrate holidays for people to meet expectations. Yeah, that you're supposed to come to work and do your job, okay? Darn right. I mean, I do have a bonus program where people go over and above their expectations, and I can, I do give out money from time to time, like what uh, I believe Candace was saying, but... No way. We're not taking anybody out for lunch just because they're doing their doggone job. They get compensated every every week for their job that they do. You get paid to come in? Exactly. Be on time. Make sure the coffee's warm. Are uh, there no workhouses? You know the deal. Exactly. Hey, you know, I got one more comment about, <laughs> about something that Candace said. That's why I don't hire any young, good-looking secretaries, because I don't need the... I don't need the problems with the people who work for me spending too much time talking to her. I usually try to ha ha uh, hire a, someone with with more experience, if you know what I mean. You know what I would do? I'd hire gay men. 
<laughs> well, I hire based on their uh, qualifications, not necessarily their sexual orientation. No, I understand that, but if uh, you find a gay man who's qualified, it eliminates the problem. That's true. Of course, then they'll all be asking him for dress tips, I guess. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> well, hey, Tom, I'll, I'll, I'll shut it off and uh, take me out with the bong rip. Here you go, Mike. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. This is Wendy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Great. Good. Um, I just wanted to say that you know it's it's not just for women as far as you know admins go. I'm a boss, and my admin happens to be a male. And you are I did take admin. Is that what you call them now? Admins. Yeah. Exactly. Is that um, like Advil? No, no, just you know, obviously it's short for administrative. But, why couldn't you um, call yeah, him a sec? I mean, why couldn't you call him a secretary? Um, you know what? That just wasn't the job description. It was it was more really administrative work than just you know. Don't a, you do administrative work? Isn't that your job? No, you, I'm the boss. In my day, <laughs> yeah, but that's that's what the you know. In my day, back when I worked in an office, mm -hmm. the person who had a secretary was the administrator. And then the secretary typed up all the stuff the administrator ordered her to type up. That's the way it worked. Now we try to give people the idea that the administrator is the secretary. So what, well, is that, what, it, what does that leave you doing? Well, I'm in a headhunting you know, position, so it, it's completely different. I mean, there, there's a lot of... I'm in a headhunting position, too, but I don't think it's quite the same thing. No, no, it's not. Absolutely not. Tonight about 8, I'll be in a headhunting position. <laughs> Oh, my God. Um, but, you know, it's, it's the secretaries of, you know, the 1950s are obviously, you know, not what's going on now. It, it's not, you know, it's, I mean, I'm sure in some offices or in some, you know, environments it is like that. But a, a lot of them, the way that the, the companies are structured now, it's not like that. I but, you know, I, I took mine out today, and I actually I asked the entire office if they wanted to join us. And, you know, it was their option, whether they were female or male, you know, if they wanted to join us. And how many so, of them did? Uh, three of them did out of uh, ten. Three out of ten. Yes, and only because it was a last-minute thing. I completely forgot about it, and, um, you know, other people had other plans. So, I had lunch with my boys today, but I didn't even know today was Secretary's Day, and these guys are not secretaries anyway. But, right. but the point is, I, I take my guys out to lunch now and then. I take them out to dinner now and then. Oh, absolutely. Uh, but and but, I, but I have done that as well. This Mom. idea of dinner. singling out, you know, people have all kinds of valuable jobs that they do at the office. Why should we single out this group? Well, you know what? I don't think it's necessarily singling out the group. I mean, yes, it is. It's called Administrative Professionals Day. Did you have Janitor's Day? Uh, no. Why not? Uh, well, because my office building takes care of the janitorial services. Oh, so. <laughs> that doesn't mean you couldn't take them out to lunch. Uh, did you have... Uh, I, don't, so I don't I'm not with them. I don't even know who they are. They come in way after our office closes. So, I mean, I, I, I understand... The How many companies have in. Salesman Day or Truck Driver Day? I have no idea. I'm sure so, so they, what this is, is once again the idea that women are the little princesses that we are supposed to kowtow to. Yeah, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a woman. Most yeah. of them are women or saying. gay men. There's very few straight <laughs> males who do this for a living. Come on. Well, the, the, my administrator is not gay. He's not gay at fine. all. Fine. I'm just saying, most <laughs> are yeah. the women or gay. It's just an acknowledgement if they're doing a good job. But the, why don't why would why do we pick? Anyway. You're not answering my question. You're avoiding my question. My question is why single out this group of workers? There are other people who perform other functions in the office. Well, maybe in time there will be. No, there won't other. be because there's only one job that's primarily done by women, and that is being a secretary or a receptionist. Uh, not necessarily. I mean, you could. You could I said primarily done by women. Well, uh, nurses. You could. Uh, there's not a national nurse. Actually, day. there is. You're wrong. There is a national oh, nurse oh, day. Oh well, I stand corrected. I had no. But idea. there's no doctor day. <laughs> no. Well, I've never heard of a, a national nurse. There day. actually is. That's interesting. Okay. Well, 
then I, I completely stand corrected. This is all about continuing to go on and honor women as somehow superior and deserving of special attention. Point taken. Thank you for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Suzanne on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. I've uh, noticed that you're just real cranky lately. Real negative. That's how negative I know I'm doing it right. You're so, and the head hunting joke, that's not even funny. It's like a five year old. Oh, really? Why are you listening then? Well, because I used Let me to, just I point like out, that. let me point out, you're not in our demographic, and the people oh. who are in the demographic, they love what I do. Okay, so you, do you want me to say anything? Or no, not really. Talk over me. No, I, you know what? I don't need you telling me how to do the show because it's I'm gone. Sorry, it's so gone very well without your input for all these years. I'm you, not going to start you, taking it from you now. You've talked to me before, uh, and I probably had the same reaction when you called no, the actually, last time. You didn't. I actually, I really enjoy your political commentary. Well, this I is not a political very... program. Well, but sometimes you talk about political things. I occasionally talk, talk about uh, going to the bathroom, but it's not I, a show about that. I think I'm proving my point. No, you're, you're not really proving cranky. any point. No, the point is that you're, you're a ball so buster cranky. and you're calling oh in to God. bust my balls. That's what you're trying to do. No, I'm not. Now, you could I, have your daughter call in and that would be a whole other story. But you, daughter, you're another story. What's yes. What have to do with it? <laughs> have her call in and we'll, we'll talk about it. I think you're losing it, Tom. That's all I got to say. Oh, you do? But you continue to listen anyway. Well, I listen occasionally because you talk about things that are of interest. Well, if you're going to sit here, if you're waiting for me to talk about politics, you're going to be waiting a long time. No, that's not. Yes, it is. Okay. Well, anyways, I I don't know what else to say. You just want to argue. Oh, so you've run out of material. At least least you know when you've run out of material. That's good. What you're so unhappy about, and why you're not as cheerful and seem to be having. A I am time having a great time. In fact, I'm having. I think you're burned out, hon. Oh, you do. Are you an expert yeah, in this field? Are you an expert in the radio programming really? field? You Let's talk really about your credentials in this area. Let's... Why did you get so fat? All right, there we go. You have no material, and that's where you go. No material. See you next Tuesday, sweetie. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to <laughs> Jennifer on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Jennifer. Hi. I just wanted to let you know we were talking at the. Um, I was talking to one of my customers today. I'm in sales, and we were saying it's kind of funny. We have receptionists that get the receptionist day, and we're in sales and work our rear ends off. And even at Christmas time, we don't get dinner. They have an administrative day during Christmas where they take all the inner office employees out to dinner for Christmas, give them gifts. We get zilch. Right. <laughs> and we're the one who's keeping the company in sales, you know, sending out their product every day. That's right. So we just thought that was pretty funny. I mean, even at Christmas, you don't even get a turkey. And this is a multi-billion dollar company nationwide. Yeah, and that's why they are, because they don't give out gifts to everybody. They just take the lowest paid employees, and they say, come on, girls, we're going out to lunch. Uh, You couldn't be more correct, but that's all I wanted to say. You just hit a note today, because I was talking to one of my customers today, because I was building a big display, because I'm having a survey, and I said, oh, wouldn't it be nice to be out to lunch? (laughs) Unbelievable. All right, thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. It's probably out selling at lunchtime instead of eating. Jamie on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hi. Hi. I just wanted to tell you that um, Hallmark created the holiday, and now we're just being punished for it. I didn't know that, and I'm not sure that's true. Are you sure that's true? <laughs> yeah, I'm positive it's true because Hallmark creates all these holidays. They just keep- no Hallmark. You know that's that's a misconception. I mean, it's popular to say, and it might as well be true, but it isn't necessarily true. But we're being punished for it. Whatever, whoever created it, because. Sometimes you get something and sometimes you don't. And do you need it or don't you need it? Or should they show appreciation in other ways other than just once a Actually, year? Actually, here I have I have the actual history of this day. Are you ready? Oh, okay, yeah. Administrative sure. Professionals Day, formerly known as Secretary's Day, mm-hmm. is an unofficial secular holiday observed on the Wednesday of the last full week of April. <laughs> to recognize the work of secretaries, administrative assistants, receptionists, and other administrative support professionals. And who created it? It's not Hallmark. 
Oh. National Secretaries Week was created in 1952 through the work of somebody named Harry <laughs> F. Clemfuss. Where are you getting this info from the, the internet? Or from what? Wikipedia. Here it is. Of Young and Rubicam, the ad agency. Oh, God. In conjunction with the National Secretaries Association, which is now known as the International Association of Administrative Professionals, or does, does it IAP. Say why? Does it say why they created this? Was it for... Was uh, it yes, like that's the next sentence. Don't jump ahead of me here, Donnie. Yeah. His okay. goal was to encourage more people to consider careers in the secretarial slash administrative support oh. field. Using his skill and experience in public relations, Clem Fuss promoted the values and importance of the job of administrative assistance. In doing so, he also created the holiday at recognition of the importance of administrative assistance. Wow. The official... Well, my, well, I, was, I got a gift today. I got lunch and a gift today, flowers, from my boss. And I thought it was kind of nice, but I kind of didn't like it because I felt like it was pointing at me as someone in the office who deserved something that no one else did or else that I was a lowly person. I... I I didn't know exactly how to take it. The feeling was not pleasant. Yes. Well, all the administrative assistants out there, uh, we just want to say hello to you. And sorry you had to have your day of looking at the E! Online uh, webpage and uh, the Brides Magazine webpage and playing Wheel of Fortune online uh, to have to go out to lunch with your boss. Because <laughs> we know what valuable you functions much. you all serve. You feel sorry for us. Is that what you're saying? The queens of what is this in reference to? Oh God! I don't feel. I did not feel like Queen for a day at all. I was embarrassed and I didn't like it. I, I really see. didn't appreciate it. I think most people that call in will say that that they didn't really, that they don't think they appreciate it, that they didn't really like it, and that there is no need for it. By the way, unlike Mother's Day or Father's Day, Administrative Professionals Day is a registered trademark with registration number two million four hundred seventy-five thousand three hundred thirty-four, serial number seventy-five slash eight nine eight nine three zero. They did a whole write-up on this thing? Well, you know, they did the... What about Grandfather's Day? That's on... Grandfather's oh, Day? Is there such a... <laughs> d come on. <laughs> Grandfather. It's probably Grandparents' Day. Okay, whatever day. There's a lot of days to celebrate, and I guess this is one of them. We're just going to have to put up with it until it goes away. Oh, I look, National it. Grandparents' Day, a United States secular <laughs> holiday <laughs> celebrated on the first hey. Sunday after Labor Day. The hey, official, God. by the way, the <laughs> I'm glad you asked about this. The official song <laughs> of National Grandparents' Day is A Song for Grandma and Grandpa by Johnny Prill. And the official flower of National Grandparents Day is the Forget Me Not. Oh, gee, many Christmas. Okay, so you don't appreciate it this holiday, I can tell. It's, I mean, you know, stuff. if we took holidays for all this stuff, we would never go to work. That's the whole purpose of this. Eventually, we're going to have a day for every race, every ethnicity, every permutation of relative, every permutation of job category, until oh. finally we're just not going to go to work anymore. We're just going to be out celebrating the history of the country, the history of our races, the history of our ethnicities. Oh, uh, Mom, I work hard every oh, day. My national really road, come on, National Roto Rooter Day. I mean, it's how far do we take this? This is out of control. <laughs> well, God, that sounds like a lot of fun. It's better than working. I mean, how much money do we get paid after all? Well, not if you're not getting paid, you know, you know how much you're getting paid. You're getting paid exactly what you're worth. That's what you're getting paid. <laughs> Well, sometimes I think I'm overpaid, but, you know. Well, that, that that might be true, but you're certainly not making less than you deserve. I can tell you that. Come on. You don't know what I do. It doesn't matter know. what you do. You're getting paid what you're worth. You know what? If you're worth more, you'd be going out and getting it. We actually had that conversation today at work. I mean, I changed jobs a year ago, okay? I went from uh, Westwood One to CBS. You know why? Because CBS offered me more money. Oh. So if I was worth more money, I went out and got it. I went, what am I supposed to do? Sit in Westworld going, I'm worth a lot more. No, <laughs> you go out and get it. That's what you do. They have salary ranges. Darling, then maybe you needed a little more education. Yeah, I have, I have education, but the thing is, they lump you into categories. Darling, based on your you, skills. I work who for lumps magazine. you? You don't You don't have to work where you work. work Go work somewhere magazine. else. Hey, I work for a magazine, and I have three titles at my company. Now, nobody's reading magazines anymore. Have you been reading the trade papers, magazines, and newspapers are going down the toilet right now? Come on. You're lucky to have a job at all. 
Yeah, Are you kidding me? Have you yeah, seen your average know. copy of Business Week or Sports <laughs> Illustrated? The down to 16 pages. Come on. Uh, you know what? These are pamphlets. They're not magazines anymore. They're out. It, it's done. It's over. And you know what? You're pretty funny. Yeah, actually, ours is a rather small magazine. It doesn't have a lot They're of all magazines. small magazines now. They're all just shrinking. Hey, even the L.A. Times only has a Sunday magazine once a month now instead of every Sunday. Yeah, ours is once a month. Hey, should I be like, in other words, should I take whatever skills I have then and transition to something else? Well, is if you think related? you're being underpaid, that's the first thing I'd recommend to anybody. I see. Well, these people who complain about being underpaid, it's like, whose fault is that? Yeah, you're right. No, you're right. I, I do see your point a lot of the time when I listen to you. I see your point. You're right. We should all be going out there and shooting for whatever it is we want in life. And you know, My you father know, was underpaid. Time. I wasn't going to follow him and do the same job and be underpaid like him. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Because my boss, I could do her job, but, uh, you know, she's got it and I don't for whatever well, reason. Well, you know, if you could do her job, you'd be doing her job. No, there's only so many people that can do it. So if you apply and that other person already has it, you there's can wait other darling. There's other magazines. There's other publications. There's other places you can apply your trade. Oh. But it's very comfortable to be at the same company forever, where you know everybody, yeah, and where you hang right. out. You have your desk right, with your little it. tchotchkes all over the desk. There, you don't want to have to <laughs> pack your stuff into a cardboard box. Have to move to another company. That's why you make what you make. You're right. You know what? You're right. Gosh, you're. Motivating me, you know. I, I don't. I have a desk here. It's empty. There's a there's a computer on it. That's it. There's no pictures of my nephew on the desk. There's no uh, uh, pictures of sports memorabilia or uh, pictures of myself on the. Forget it. I, I only have a picture of George Clooney on my desk. I have to be ready for a quick ejection if somebody offers me even more money in the future. <laughs> what do you think about me having George Clooney on a picture of George Clooney on my desk? I'm sure you got pictures of lots of things on your desk. No, just George Clooney. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm really into that guy. And but you you're know, into he that guy. Twenty year olds, but he really likes twenty year olds. That's it. Do did you just figure that out, darling? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I mean, I, you know, I you did, should put yeah. uh, you should put out you should put a picture of a Maybach on your desk. You know what a Maybach is? Oh yeah. You should put a picture of a Maybach on your desk. You should put a picture of a hundred thousand square foot house on your desk. Well, I have a. You know why? One hundred square foot. No, no, no. Put a picture of a. You put a picture of a Maybach. You put a picture of a hundred thousand square foot house. Picture of George Clooney. Mm -hmm. You know why? Why? These are all the things you're never gonna get. Mm -hmm. Tom, Tom, Tom like it. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. Hey, doing the Lord's work, Father. Keep it up. It's the Tom Likey Show. From Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the program. We appreciate it. National Secretary's Day, National Administrative of Professionals Day, whatever they're calling it. Stupid. 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 Yolanda on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, what's up? <laughs> uh, the ratings, my paycheck, you name it. I understand. Um, listen, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to disagree with you on this one. And I think because I'm one of the secretaries that's um, receiving all these perks, <laughs> um, you would have a heart attack. The law firm where I work, they have an event planned every single day, uh, um, ice cream social, dessert cart, happy hour, breakfast, massages. And then on top of that, they have raffles throughout each day of the week for you know, not just for secretaries, but the entire staff. And don't you think it's kind of maybe an incentive for employees to work harder and no for companies to want to keep good employees? You know what a good incentive to keep me working in a company is? You're going to say more money, I'm sure. Money. <laughs> I understand I that, like but... money. Why are people so stupid as to fall for ice cream sundaes instead of money? <laughs> I understand it, but if you're going to be working for the company anyway, you're not going anywhere. But What's these are the same the people who say they're not paid what they're worth. These are the same people. Now, I, you know, I just don't get paid what I'm worth. I'll bet you don't think you're getting paid what you're worth. Of course not. It's, ne it's never enough, but if I'm going to No, but the point is, are, whether it's enough is one thing. Are you paid what you're worth? I, 
no. I don't and that's so. because you're paid at ice cream Sundays and other <laughs> nonsense, and because uh, you've been suckered into staying at a low paying job by all these gimmicks. I understand, but my but so so the reason? reality is you're paid exactly what you're worth. But but why would someone feel uncomfortable? I think like one of your last callers said about receiving. That's another thing we got today: flowers. <laughs> what's wrong with? I don't, because I mean, because we single out a largely female profession for this kind of treatment, and the fact is we don't uh, honor truck drivers or salespeople or others at the office. Uh, it it only happens to be the lowest paid, largely female workforce that are the so-called administrative professionals. I, okay, I understand. I totally understand your point, but I guess it's different because. I'm in that position, so receiving, I guess, okay, I guess I'm falling for the... You're a sucker. Okay, okay, maybe. And, and ironically, you say you're not paid what you're worth. Well, you know, all that ice cream costs money. I understand that, Tom, but... You stay, and then you're not being paid enough, but you keep staying for the ice cream sundaes. But it's incredible, because every secretary, uh, it has to be at least 35, well, it's probably like 40 people, including staff... Everyone was like eating all of this up. So just like you, yes, all of us are suckers. <laughs> just <laughs> like you. <laughs> okay, I'll and they up. probably all complain they don't get paid enough. Yeah, but Tom, a lot of people don't get paid enough. But I'm saying, if I'm if I plan on staying with no, the company, everybody is paid. Everybody so is paid. Everybody is paid exactly what they're worth, including you, including yourself, right? Including myself. And when I'm not paid what I'm worth, you know what I do? I get another job. So let me ask you, do you have a secretary? I don't. Okay. I was just curious to know if, in fact, you would do anything for her no. on this day. Oh, I'll do something. Well, I'll put it this way. What I would do for a secretary, I couldn't get away with doing because the Human Resources Department would intervene. That's a whole number, another topic, which we had a class on that at work, too, sexual harassment. Well, that's my point. I... I have no interest in attending any sexual harassment retraining or anything like that. So, no, I yeah. do not have a secretary. Uh, uh, by the way, what do I need a secretary for? I, with computers, I can uh, type up my own correspondence. Uh, most of my correspondence is done on my BlackBerry anyway. Right, right. What do I need a secretary for? And then to have to take her out for flowers and ice cream and lunch. and. Well, you want her to know that you appreciate it? Why do I, why do, why do the largely female workforce that that do these jobs need that kind of appreciation? Whoever has a party for me to tell me how much they appreciate me, you know how they show me they appreciate me? Money, lots of money. Well, are, are that you is the way you show so much. But this is work. This is not game playing. We're not playing house here. I'm I, I come to work to make money. The way to show me you appreciate me is to give me money. And if I'm doing a really good job, give me more money. I got it. It's, it's all coming together. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. You know, this this, have, this like, is an example of how women plan. women have this very oddball idea of what a job is. It's like a place where you go to socialize, and then your boss is like uh, uh, usually a guy who has to show his appreciation like he's your boyfriend. This is stupid. You come to work to make money. But Tom, isn't it kind of like when they have like okay, for instance, we're having a summer party, a summer. Is it any wonder that women make seventy two cents for every dollar a man makes? Maybe because women fall for the ice cream Sunday trick. Okay, but Tom, isn't it like when companies have like summer events? It's just a way to show their their employees that they appreciate. Why it? single out administrative assistants or secretaries or receptions? Why? Okay, yeah, you've been asking that, and I think no one has come up with an answer yet, including myself. The answer is because it's just like Mother's Day and Valentine's Day and all those other days where we're all supposed to kowtow to females. Well, what's wrong with that? Uh, there we go. What's wrong with that? It's sexist, and women say they are equal, and they want to be taken seriously. If you want to be taken seriously, stop asking for special treatment. So are you telling me that tomorrow that I should refuse my massage? No, tell them you want money instead. <laughs> uh, what's the massage? Ninety dollars an hour. Tell them just give me ninety bucks. You're absolutely right, because I I feel the same way about the Christmas party. I'd rather just have a bonus than. Would I that. rather have the company have give me a big birthday party or seven figure annual income? I'll tell you what I'd rather have. Yeah, once again, Tom. Okay, you're you're right. <laughs> you're absolutely right. I, I mean, I, it is no no wonder women make so much less money than men because they fall for this stuff. And I'm telling you, every last female there, they 
were eating it up. I mean, of course they right. were. They were eating it up, and uh, pretty soon they'll be taking advantage of the free health club they'll be offered by your company. <laughs> you're right. You're right. You're right. Okay, Tom. Well, hopefully for the rest of the week, I won't be such a sucker. Don't be a sucker, Yolanda. Tell them you All want. Right. Tell them you want money. Okay, thanks, Tom. There's a recession out there, dear. You want money. I'm on it. I'm on it. Tom. Okay. Okay, thanks. Thank you, dear. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Michelle on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hi. Um, I just wanted to say that I, I was dreading today for a few weeks now because my company divides employees between blue card employees and yellow card employees. And blue card employees um, generally are the uh, professional staff and the yellow cards are the administrative staff. But for some reason, maybe because they're cheap, some of the professionals are actually yellow card employees, which is what, which is what I am. And last year, um, I was not expecting it, and I got flowers on Administrative Secretary Day because just because I'm a yellow card employee, because they're too lazy to look at, you know, well, let's find out who actually deserves the flowers and who doesn't. And it really pissed me off because I have a master's degree. I, I'm a professional. I'm an analyst. And here they are coming to my office giving me flowers on Secretary Day. And so this year I knew it was coming up, and I, I was, you know, studying it. I'm thinking when my boss comes in here and he has the audacity to give me these flowers, I'm going to tell him, take it away. I don't want them. Really? I, didn't, I didn't go to school and work my ass off so that you're going to give me flowers on Secretary Day. Um, but he was on vacation today, and someone else ended up giving them to me, and I, you know, so I, I felt bad. I didn't say anything. But um, I just think that's really messed up. It's a, you know, they're lazy. And one reason why I think some of, they keep some of us as yellow card employees is because, I don't know, to save money because we're not exempt. They have to pay us less. We're hourly. And so, and you have all these people who are getting these flowers today, or actually on Monday, um, IT personnel, um, you name it. And, uh, and it was just, it's just really ridiculous. You have all these men getting these flowers Yep. Uh, well, that's also outrageous. But again, it's because it originally started out as a holiday for females. And then, uh, well, they couldn't discriminate. So, all right, everybody gets flour. Everybody's going to get bath oil this year. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, and then, and also, it's not just Administrative Day. It was Administrative Week. I don't know why they did that. Because um, one day yeah. just wasn't enough to show all that appreciation. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's give you, let's like, let's, we're going to appreciate you all week, but all we get is flowers, of course. Jesus. And then, and then when I told, and when I told my boyfriend about it, he said exactly what you said. He goes, is there an upper management week? I was like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> is there a middle management week? No. No. Nope, is there a, is there a sales department week? No. Nope. No. Nope. Because, <laughs> and because of this, I got, I got so mad. That, I mean, and I get paid crap anyway, so I've been, you know, looking for other jobs. But I just got really aggressive in my job search now, and I have my first interview tomorrow. I love that. Yep. Well, at least you were uh, motivated to go out and do something for yourself instead of doing what people usually do, which is, I don't get paid enough. My mm -hmm. boss doesn't appreciate mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. I'm going out. I'm going to make more money, and I'm not going to be treated like a secretary, even though I went out and I got an education. Yeah. And, it, I, and I run, and, you know, and we have these big displays of flowers, and it's, like, right there in my office. You know, it's embarrassing because you have all the, all the people, the secretaries in the cubicles with their big flowers, and people come by my office and go, oh, you're most administrative flowers. Thanks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good for you, Michelle. Hey, can you take me out Lacey Peterson style? Oh, that would be tasteless. <laughs> One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number here. By the way, our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom dot com. Have you got that? Tom at blowmeuptom dot com.
The Tom Likas Show.